Hey, welcome to another video. This one is an actual uh, slideshow on my 1999 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, this will be on the interior, mainly the cage, uh, and some of the body panels that I've done for the dash. This is a uh, one and three quarter inch, 120 wall, uh, MIG welded uh, cage. Um, we used about, I don't know, 100 foot maybe of, uh, of length on that maybe give or take but uh, it was done relatively short period of time I painted it up with a uh, a color referred to as Ford gray it's not white but it appears that way that's quite all right uh, it's great contrast to the black and the red that's in the Jeep it sticks out it is a pain in the butt to paint um, if your interior is going to be black then you need to tape everything off that you don't want to be white and that sucks um, rolling through a bunch of these shots. Here's the roof line right here. Plenty of protection above my head. Uh, it's six point down cage. There's an A pillar, a B pillar, and a C pillar. Um, the seats are on the cage, as you see right there, which is important, uh, in my opinion. Um, it's pretty tight inside. I'm six foot three when I sit in there. Uh, I have roll bar padding above my head. And uh, if I were not to be strapped in, I could possibly hit my head on that cage. Um, I do see why people were putting the hybrid cages together to uh, allow themselves a little more interior room. But uh, <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't decide to go that route. I went with an, a complete interior cage, and, and that's fun. Here you can see some of the uh, tabs that are on the sheet metal. These are for the body panels. Uh, there's the spare tire mount. Um, all the panels were uh, being fitted at this point. Um, we uh, went through an elaborate stage of uh, templates and uh, and uh, transferring those to the sheet metal, and it was it was quite a bit of work. Uh, the painting itself consumed quite a bit of time, you know, if you want to do it correctly. Um, here here's some of the uh, sheet metal uh, frame to uh, roll cage tie-ins. This is where you want to tie it in. You know, if you don't tie your body to your roll cage, they're going to move independently. Even though that they're, they're strapped down at the, at the floor, you need to get it up at the highest point tied in. So I have 15 pieces that go throughout here that tie the cage to the body. They're dimple dyed so that they retain some of the strength you know, in the sheet metal. Here you see the pieces going across the C pillar. These are really big pieces. Uh, pretty hard to weld in place, uh, but they'll prevent any movement. Oh, this is over the wheel well. Uh, I have them one above and uh, above the wheel well and vertically. Uh, let's see. These are some of the ones along the floorboard uh, and, the, and the windshield. Uh, they. Uh, well, like once again, they keep the cage moving with the body, which everything stays rigid. Um, that's kind of what you want. Great shot here coming up of uh, three of them. You know, you can see all three of those frame tie-ins. It's important. Um, this is a uh, small video I did at one point in time of uh, an interior mock-up of the dash and the panels. I had an idea from the get-go of what I wanted to have in it. I knew that I wanted uh, a uh, center console from from uh, from the original Cherokee. And I wanted a couple of cup holders, um, the shifters. I wanted located on on the uh, center part of the console. Uh, here's the aux, you know, like the aux locker. The transfer case obviously stays put. The transmission shifter I located in there. Uh, you know, it has four gauges. Um, I'm running a volts, uh, transmission, oil pressure, and uh, I don't even know what I was missing here. Oil pressure, transmission, volts, and uh, water temperature. Yeah, exactly. Um, here's the uh, hood of the dash that uh, has a two and a half inch sun visor. It keeps the sun off of the LCD monitor, the gauges. Uh, you know, it's something to consider instead of just putting a flat paneled face of a dash up there. 
or the hood, I'm sorry. You want to integrate a nice sun visor in there. Uh, you know, it, it gives it a good look. All right, uh, let's see. Rolling now into the fabrication of the uh, dash structure. Here you can see some of the tubing. This is three-quarter inch tubing that was used to uh, design the actual dash. Um, this is the passenger view. Uh, the back of the B pillar, uh, the center console. These are all done with three quarter inch. There's the oh shit handle. Um, before I, you know, transferred these to the sheet metal, I did it all in uh, in, in pretty thick cardboard. Uh, I had a really good template. You know, that's the whole point is to take your time templating it correctly, transfer it to sheet metal, get it done right the first time. So the majority of these pieces I had already cut out, um, and then they they knew what I wanted with the rest. This is a uh, that's the uh, B pillar. You could just tuck some stuff up in that little fold there if you want to keep it in there. Um, the top of the dash and the face of the dash were starting to get covered. This is from 3M. This is a uh, a uh, that's their carbon fiber, a black carbon fiber. Great shot of some of the interior lights in there. I got a switch panel from a guy online. His name is Matt, and uh, he has a company called 12voltunlimited.com. I highly suggest you check that out. That was well worth the time and the money waiting you know, for that product. Uh, let's see here. More of the sheet metal taking shape before I got it wrapped. There's the horn, the aux locker, and the transmission shifter. A couple of cup holders and the OEM stock uh, armrest and bucket. So, you know, eventually you get the pieces together, the face of it on. There's the TV up top with the switch panel, the back of the switch panel. Uh, there's the hood with the uh, slots so that we can slide it in place just like that. Uh, from the top view, you can see that the dash needs to be trimmed and mounted. So we started to cut it down and mounted it on the same holes that the windshield will be mounted on. It's not a glass windshield anymore. I have one that comes in and out. Um, this is uh, the corners of the dash, uh, the top piece to cover those slots so that it's not visible. It, uh, it ended up to be a pretty clean product. Here's the side pieces. Those are tacked on for good. A little bit of the center console as it's being completed. And the gauges were installed across the face. And then we get into some of the carbon fiber wrap, you know, and the paint. And, it, you know, it starts to present itself pretty well. Uh, you know, I like the appearance of it. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. With it. It's, uh, it's pretty one of, you know, it's, it's not a lot of, uh, you don't see a lot of these out there duplicated. So I'm pretty happy. Um, I got to thank a lot of the people that, you know, helped me build it. It's, it, it, you know, I'm not responsible for building it. I am responsible for the design, though. Uh, listen, uh, you know, if you have any further questions, you know, check out my webpage, dinomurray.blogspot.com and I'd like to thank you for coming by, spending your time, and viewing this video slash slideshow. You have a good day. Thank you.